Hey everybody, it's Matt Powers. I'm just making a quick video to show you the keeper grain size. So a lot of people get keeper grains, but their, their keeper grains don't get this big. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll pick it up. Um, this keeper knows me. Um, well, yeah, see when I try to pick it up, it tends to break and I hate doing that. So these structures, they work really hard on creating. Um, and a lot of people um, only get, you know, see this down here, this right here, I'll break it up. So most people's grains are only like this big right here. Do you see that? And then I have grains that create these, these large structures. And I get questions all the time about what are you doing? Why is it so different? Um, my eyelashes got in there somehow. Um, <laughs> as I'm leaning over it. Um, but, but there's a reason. Um, I tend to look at my kefir and I tend to go way down here and I tend to look really carefully at what they're doing and their size and their distribution. I tend to look to see who's floating. So you can open this up and we'll see that we have floaters and the floaters are the largest ones. Um, and so they're likely working the hardest too. And so I always use the floaters as the lead in my capture for the next grow or grow out of of this so there's there's way more than what i put in i put in a cup of grains a cup of sugar and now there's two cups of grains and so what i always do is i'm always going to be taking the top layer where they're the largest and i look down here and i'm like have they eaten all the sugar yes 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 that's all like yeast and smaller grains that are trying to form into larger grains and form those structures but what goes on is um as it gets in i switch sugars and so that's why it's doing this but if like with the, when it gets used to it it'll have less of this and it'll have more of that and so what happens is i'm going to take all those big things and I'll store this because this isn't bad. This just isn't as, as uh, developed as these. And so these structures are so well developed that you put them into another medium and they know exactly what to do. Um, they're well developed. So I keep it at 70 degrees. Right here, right now, it is not 70 degrees, but I keep it at 70 degrees for my mushroom growing and for my, my fermentation um, because that's the fruiting temperature for mushrooms, but it's also, the grains love it. They go through the sugar fast, and then I watch it until all the sugar is taken out, and then I bring them out here, and I keep them in the cold for a little bit, so they adjust, and then I do I redo the water, and I only use warm water. And, and like lukewarm, not hot, but like lukewarm water, because I don't want to shock them, I mean, Look at how much work they put in to build that compared to like what you buy and what everyone ha sees around, which is those teeny grains. They put so much work in that. I don't want to shock that. This is like transplant shock, right? We don't want there to be transplant shock. So you want to keep the sugar the same. You want to keep the temperatures relatively the same and the environment that they will be in steady. And then it, they get really knowledgeable. Their brains get bigger. <laughs> Well, their structures really just get bigger is what happens. They get more developed. Um, but yeah, Keeper is really amazing. Uh, if, you, if, if, if you've never had it, oh, please, please, please get some, from, not from a store. Because unless it's the Kiefer in Sebastopol with Tom Boyd, they were researchers studying microbiology. And that's why they got so good at it. They decided to inoculate the public um, with Kiefer. And so have some real kefir, have some not store-bought kefir that once had life in it, but have some kefir like from the kefiri or grow your own. Um, and the kefiri, you know, you go there for the, it's the, the, the inspiration, the, 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 like the diversity of microbes that he's, he's involving and microbiology is involving. Um, my kefir gets so bubbly. My kefir, um, you know what? Um, huh, did I put any in the fridge? Um, I'd have to walk over and do that. Um, my kitchen's such a mess. This is embarrassing. So I'll just like walk like this 
And we'll look upwards. <laughs> no, it's too much of a mess. No, 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 no. All right, hold on. Ah, we're going over here. Run it over here. We're gonna see if, no, I don't have keeper. No, I drank it already today. I already drank it. So, yes, no, what happens, Judy, <laughs> what happens, Judy, is, is I let it eat all the sugars, and then I, and, and then it's bubbly. I mean, it is bubbly. It may not look like it. Um, let me just do this. Can you guys see it? There's bubble. There's there there there's there's bubbles coming up. But what happens is this right here is not like like gonna go off like a gun when you put it in here. But five days from now, after it's eaten the sugars that are still latent in this, it's going to be way more bubbly. And then you're gonna have to put it in the fridge. So you're gonna have to put this in the fridge or for two hours in the freezer and then in the fridge so that it, it separates. Because what happens is it will have the carbonation here and the carbonation in the, in the liquid. And it will literally separate. And so you can pop this off and it'll go off like a gun, but it won't explode out. But if it's warm, it's all one thing and it all explodes out as one thing and gets it all over like a, like a, a, a soda rocket. Like someone shook up your soda. So, Keeper's really bizarre, especially because um, it took me a long time to figure out how to do all that. Um, because no one on the internet tells you, like, to monitor the sugar levels. No one tells you on the internet to keep the, the water, you know, consistent and everything consistent from, you know, all the way through. Um, I also kind of keep it in an area where it doesn't get much light. And obviously right here we have light. When I do the changeover, it gets light, so it gets, I guess, shocked. Um, but, but yeah, and then another thing that I do, which is kind of wild, is whenever I'm feeling the water, my hands are clean, but I'm, I'm feeling the water as it goes in. And I don't do it the whole time, but I'm inoculating it with myself when I'm doing it. And I've been doing this for, um, seven years now. And then the excess grains, when I get way too much, and when there's like a little bit left over or something, um, they end up in the compost. And then they end up in my soil. And this is, there's no stronger consortia of probiotics on earth. This is the stuff they find like above 5,000 feet in most of all stream uh, spring heads. So this stuff is the, the microbiology that comes out of the, the, the springs, out of the soil, out of the earth. Um, and so it's, it's really absolutely incredible stuff. Um, yeah, so, so um, it, it, it can do really incredible things. It can digest plastic. It's, uh, it's totally unique. Um, and so I drink it as much as possible. Um, what do I purchase my bottles? We went to like a, a, a beer making store and we got uh, mead making or beer making bottles. Um, and it was just a local store. But yeah, you have to get it cold. You have to make sure these are really strong. Or otherwise, you'll explode them everywhere. And I wait a really long time. So I don't just do two days on this. Like, it sometimes is three days. Sometimes it's four days. I'm watching the sugar. And I'm also watching the way they float and their size. I'm also looking at the, what, they, what, what sugar, how fast they're eating the sugars, what sugars they like. And I'm doing cookie things like, like, I'm um, testing whether to stir it and mix it in or to just have the grains with sugar on top and water on top with no mixing. So I'm doing things like that because it does actually make a difference. It's really, really, really interesting and I don't understand why. But anyway, like I would say, I, 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 inoc I basically self-inoculate this with my, my own microbiology by like constantly touching the grains and constantly working with it it's going in my compost, then it's going in my soil, and it's this amazing digester, it's this amazing probiotic that's found in all these riparian water, you know, areas all over the world, and then it's going into my soil, partnering with the microbiology there, and I've been doing this for over five years, and I never really realized how powerful this stuff was until I started learning lately about, like, how powerful it is, and now I'm realizing I've been adding this to my compost teas. I've been at, through the compost, but then I've also 
I, like I said, I do kooky experiments. So I added grains to my actual compost. So I turned my compost tea into a probiotic um, fermentation as well which I don't know if anyone's done that before, but I did it. It, it, the plants loved it. I didn't see anything bad happen. <laughs> but um, so, so I really am excited about what's going on with kefir and all the studies and all the new learning. It's way more powerful than kombucha. It's the most powerful probiotic that we have, um, according to Tom Boyd of the Kefiri and his research team. They formed the Kefiri to inoculate the world with the best probiotics because they, people love drinks, as they said. People love beverages. They're crazy over them. And that's why they started doing it. So this th th this is like one of my favorite things. I try to drink uh, kefir every morning now because uh, I believe it, uh, it makes the biggest difference in, in my day. And uh, this morning I did tw uh, 20 pull-ups. Uh, I just broke my record. 19 was my record, and it was months ago. And so um, I'm feeling great, and I uh, I just wanted to share with you guys my a little bit of my morning routine because this happens you know every few days you got to keep it going otherwise uh, you got to store it in the fridge and if you're going on a trip you just put them in the fridge um, keep them away from sugar uh, and it'll be great it'll be all set all right guys thank you um, and have a wonderful day